The 994 is Caterpillar's largest wheel loader and it weighs in at a whopping 195 tonnes. This model of it from Tonkin was delivered in a protective outer shipping carton and inside is a big cat branded box. The design is in the now usual style and inside the flap is a collector card. This has some technical information about the real 994 and on the other side there's a nice photo of the real machine. Let's pull out the insides and this model certainly is a big old boy. So it's best to eat plenty of spinach and build up your muscles before you get this model out. Unusually this model is held in a couple of expanded polystyrene trays and they're factory sealed together with tape. Before going any further it's worth remembering time's gone by and let's have a look underneath and... They're back. The dreaded twist ties have reappeared and much fun is guaranteed trying to release the model from the box and even more fun is guaranteed trying to put it back in. It's not really clear why twist ties need to be used because so many models seem to get by without them, but hey ho. All you can do is remove them without damaging the model in the process. There's one last bit of packaging to remove and that's shrink wrap off the tyres. And that's presumably there to stop any reaction with the box material. The only problem is you can't put the shrink wrap back on, so there's an issue if you repackage the model. There are no instructions for the model and there's no assembly to do because this model is complete out of the box. Starting with the earthworm's eye view, the transmission is modelled to both axles. And the big rubber tyres are good because they're not too shiny, they're quite solid with a decent tread pattern. The metal wheels are nicely detailed and that includes the inside faces too, although they do have false black rims. There are lights at the back and the rear grille is metal, but the side grilles look a bit washed out as they're only painted yellow. Also there's no black highlighting on the wheel arch which might have looked better. Up on top the exhausts and air intakes are modelled, and both the handrails and the textured floor is really good. The cab has got nice realistic beacon lights and the cat logo is on the seat back. The model is mainly metal but there are some plastic parts including the front lights and mirrors and also the exhausts, air intakes and rear ladders. However all of the handrails and stairs are metal and are pleasingly thin and really look the part. At the pivot point the steering and drive shafts are modelled but it would have looked more complex if there had been some hydraulic hoses. Also the main front axle support is fairly plain compared to the real machine. The loader mechanism looks suitably heavy and is modelled well. There are a couple of screw heads in the loader arms but they are fairly small and disguised by the thick paint. The rock bucket is a big heavy casting with some nice detailing but there are no visibility perforations in the top edge. <laughs> The 994 is a big machine and therefore a big model. Let's put it on the Cranes Etc weigh bridge and see what it comes in at. And it's a chunky two and a bit kilos or nearly five pounds. Let's also do a dimensional check and it's about 14 inches or 36 centimeters end to end. And in case the display cabinet is vertically challenged, it's five and a half inches or 14 centimeters tall. Here we see it rolling around the Cranes Etc mine floor and it does a good job in a straight line. And if we show our strength and tilt the model, you can see that the wheels are mounted on common axles and turned together. And looking at the rear axle, there's a good degree of up and down oscillation. The steering across the pivot point is also good with a realistic angle. There is one small problem which you certainly wouldn't notice on a static display. And that is that the rear axle has a slight amount of movement from side to side. It actually comes into effect when you steer the model and the tyres get fouled alternately depending in which direction you're travelling. In part it's also caused by the wheels being fixed to a common axle. Moving on to the rock bucket and at the lower end it's got a good cut angle and it can also achieve a moderate low level carry angle. The hydraulic ramps are generally stiff enough although there are certain areas in the travel where it's a little bit loose. But overall the mechanism works well because it certainly achieves a very good height. Of course if you carry a load you need to be able to tip it and the tipping angle is quite reasonable. So now we go on to the genuine imitation real life test and here we're loading rocks into an MT4400D. Here the 994 is being operated in augmented manual mode and that allows fine control of the tipping operation. Yes augmented manual control is another patented Cranes Etc technology. 
This is a big and impressive looking model from Tonkin, and overall it's a pretty good implementation. It would have been nice to see some greater detailing, but certainly for the price this model is good value. All things considered, it's highly recommended. Thank <laughs> you.